The leader of the main opposition party, Citizens Coalition for Change, in Zimbabwe, Nelson Chamisa, says his party maintains the position of rejecting the election results. Chamisa spoke to SABC International News Editor Sophie Mugwena, and he says that they will continue to seek recourse as their members are fully uh, convinced the elections were not free and fair. The election was fundamentally flawed. The election was and is a fraud and a sham. And for that reason, any outcome out of this process that is disputed is a disputed outcome. We did not sign our forms. We did not consent to the outcome because we had irregularities around the statistics, cases of inflation, manipulation, and in some cases, clear uh, failure on the part of ZEC to explain why certain anomalies were there. So Mr. Mnangagwa's figure is not a confirmed figure. We dispute that figure. We do not agree that he is the president. We won in the election free uh, and out of uh, any encumbrance. And of course, we had an unfree and an unfair election. Uh, and you are aware that uh, we have made this position very clear. All the observer mission groups have uh, indicated that the election in Zimbabwe was so shambolic. People did not vote. In urban areas, it was a case of uh, uh, undermined and suppressed voting uh, and voter suppression was a big issue. In the rural areas, people were frog marched and command here to vote, almost uh, intimidation at is various polling is stations that, using... Is it not too little too late? Well, you can say that President Mnangagwa is in the office for you, yes. But for the people of Zimbabwe, they chose a leader and they want to see that leader whom they chose declared. And they want to make sure that in as much as they chose the leader in a very complex environment, a suppressed environment, they would want a way of uh, reversing or dealing with that environment so that we are able to see the punctuation of the will of the people. As far as we are concerned as the people of Zimbabwe, you can tell there was no celebration across the whole country. People are very clear. They know what they voted for. They know what they want. Mr. Mnangagwa can declare himself a million times as president, but as far as we are concerned, he is not our president or people's president. Z declared, but not Zimbabwe elected. Three heads of state and representatives from different countries were present at the inauguration, a clear indication that they've accepted the results. Your councillors took oath of office today in Bulawayo. Well, look, the issue of uh, being sworn in uh, has nothing to do with the credibility of the election. The bottom line in the fundamental position is that it is a flawed direction. We rejected the outcome of that election, and we would want uh, the elections in Zimbabwe to be finally dealt with so that we do not have disputes and contestations, election in, election out. And for that to happen, we need a political arrangement, a political agreement on the reforms, institutional reforms, electoral reforms, constitutional reforms. And to some extent, these reforms have to speak to institutions that are going to superintend the issue of elections in Zimbabwe going forward. But as for now, we have said we do not accept that Mr. Mnangagwa is the legitimate president of Zimbabwe. It is within our right, and we have already indicated to Zep that's why we did not sign, and that's why we have not agreed. So it's a disputed outcome. It doesn't matter how many people come uh, to uh, the inauguration. It's a sham inauguration out of a sham election, and it remains so. But you didn't push for the reforms before the elections because many people were saying that without reforms, you are going to have a problem as a country. We did push for reforms. You are aware that we shouted our voices hoarse. We even we knocked at Sadek's doors to try and have reforms. That has not been possible. But we are aware that ours is a struggle. We will continue to fight. If you look at this sham election, our ground forces did fantastically well. We managed to sweep in 33 out of the 34 urban councils, almost 33 mayors out of the 34. But that doesn't mean that we have to accept a sham election just because we've won. We won even the presidents, but doesn't mean that we have to accept it. We won at parliamentary level all the urban areas and in the rural areas in Matebeleland. But doesn't mean that we have to accept because certain issues were not followed, processes were not followed. And we continue to say this election cannot stand. It must be uh, you know, reversed in terms of 
the way the people voted. And that is our position. That position is backed by the observer mission groups in terms of what they observed on the ground. To call it an election is actually a misnomer. It was coercion, intimidation, manipulation, in some cases inflation, outright a criminal act. In fact, it was a criminal enterprise. That is why we are rejecting the outcome and want the outcome to be respected. And we need to be able to have a political understanding and dialogue to resolve the issues that are outstanding. The constitution of Zimbabwe is clear in terms of when you are aggrieved or the electoral process, you have to go to court. You didn't go to court. Well, the, 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 there's no need for us to go to uh, the court. The SADC is a court. The court of public opinion has already made a determination that this election is a sham. There's no need for us to waste time by plowing the same field twice. And we have been down this road. You know, in 2018, we went to the court. And we know the disposition and attitude of the court. So we don't want to waste time. We want to resolve issues. This is a political issue. It's an electoral matter. And there are remedies beyond just wasting time through going uh, round and round in circles. We need to resolve this issue. And there has to be a political will. And political will shall be there. We have a million options to pursue to make sure that the issue of elections in Zimbabwe is resolved. Zimbabweans want change. They want a new government. They want a legitimate government. They want their own government. And they've not been able to have that government because Mr. Mnangagwa was declared by Zek erroneously out of a sham process and irregularities that were evidenced by the Zimbabweans themselves and also by the region, SADC, AU, all observer mission groups had a clear, you know, a negative report on the obtainings on the ground. And you witnessed it. Journalists did. We witnessed it as a people. And we are all agreed. There's no debate about that. The issue is what do we do with this kind of an illegitimate outcome? What and are you going to do? Where, what are you going to do? Where to from here? Well, of course, we are engaging Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans are very clear. They understand where we are going. We are very clear that we will make sure that we express ourselves peacefully, constitutionally, until there is a legitimate government in this country. As we speak, there is no legitimate government in Zimbabwe. There is a disputed uh, and a self-declared through ZEC president, and that must be corrected. Otherwise, this country cannot move because there is an illegitimate government. They are saying, some of your critics, that you don't have the necessary forms to challenge uh, the ZEC in terms of uh, their pronouncement of uh, the election results. Anybody can say anything. The bottom line is that we managed to win this sham election. You can't say we are disorganized when we have the number of MPs we have managed to have in a disputed, in a very unfree and unfair election. When we have won the way we have won, when we have millions of supporters who supported us, that's not evidence of a disorganized party. We are very organized, and we are happy that the people of Zimbabwe believe in us. And they are very clear that time is coming, and change is coming to Zimbabwe. It doesn't matter who chooses to abandon us and not give us the solidarity. At the end of the day, we know that nobody can stop a time whose moment has come. Change is coming to Zimbabwe, and we'll fight for it, and we are ready to die for it.